Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today, I'm bringing you a uh, sorry for the yawn. A tutorial on this snapshot effect that I did in my sky replacement edit. Uh, sky replacement tutorial was last week or a few days ago. So yeah, there's the effects. Uh, you'll need a 3D camera for this if your can or clip is moving. I did a tutorial for this ages ago uh, using Sony Vegas and Photoshop. Um, my stomach just made a very weird noise. I'm sick, by the way, so um, I'm just chilling at home recording this. I'm very sick. Went home from school. Um, so you're gonna want to get a 3D camera for this because the camera is moving. If the camera's not moving, skip the 3D part of this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is make a new composition. Take my sky, which is this one without any of that, just the regular one. So take my sky. Just basically put it in the layer, rename this Tut. Tut. Uh, I'm going to import my 3D camera. I take it you guys know how to motion track. I've done a tutorial on it already a while ago. So what we're going to do is, I'm only going to do one point instead of four like I did for this one. So basically find where you want it, duplicate your layer with Control D, Command D on a Mac. Find your marker, which I already set, and Alt and left bracket. Uh, that will snap your clip, let me zoom in down here, it snaps it right to that frame so now what we're gonna do is just turn the audio off on that layer obviously I'm gonna keep the audio off on that layer as well right click, well yeah make sure you're at your marker, if you're over here it's not gonna work so go right to your marker right click time freeze frame now that makes a solid image off that uh, frame so now what we want to do is mask the person out I'm going to make a very rough mask right now, uh, just for the sake of time. It's going to look very, very bad, I mind you, but uh, take your time in your mask. I'm doing this very quick right now, because I feel like poo, but I want to record this tutorial. Uh, and there we go, it's almost done. A horrible, horrible mask, but it's fine for the sake of this tutorial, just for demonstration purposes. Um, I can probably take this mask, let me just turn off the mask, make solo this so you can see it's transparent. I can always expand this mask by maybe a few pixels. Eh, two pixels. That looks fine. Let's do one pixel. Looks fine if I expand it by a pixel. And I'm going to want to feather this about five pixels because this is a pretty small mask. Uh, that covers up the little spots I missed. So now we have that little part, if you turn off that, there's no difference because it's sitting on its exact same frame. So now what we're going to do is make this a 3D layer, boom, hit the 3D button. Um, you're going to want to set your origin somewhere around here, if you don't have a motion track. Uh, mine doesn't really matter too much because I tracked it in in uh, After Effects, so the origin is right there. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, excuse me, on, um, is take this layer and basically you drag it in the X, Y, and Z space until it fits your clip. So I'll take the Z space, bump it out a little bit. I want it to look just like him. So that's a little far in the Z space. Bring that back. Instead of scaling it up, I can just drag it in the Z space because that's back away from the camera. And that looks... Oh, jeez, I moved the background by accident. Whoops. So I move him up a little bit to fit that ski on. God dang it. Fit that ski. All right, grab my Y. Ski is right there. Move a little bit this way. And that's pretty good. So if I would ram preview this, which I'm not going to. Set it back to third resolution so I can actually preview this. Goes through, and then boom. Sky comes out, which is a different tutorial. And he's there. So that's really it for the tutorial, guys. Um, you can do this with every marker. Like, I have five in this one. I have three, four of them, and the fifth one is where my Twixter starts, which is why my comp's longer. You don't need to know that, though. So there's the uh, snapshot effect with motion track. Um, if you enjoy this tutorial, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. Helps me out a ton. Um, I'm approaching 1K. Jeez. Oh, horrible, horrible time to yawn, but um, 
Yeah, I'm approaching 1k. My editing pack will be released when I hit 1k and hopefully a few other surprises. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy and I'm out. Adios.